Hey folks, welcome back to another installment of Hobby Fisting GeoGuessr. And right off the bat, I'm rather embarrassed about how last week went. I mean, yeah, there was some bullshit there, but I felt I could have done better. It didn't go great. I'm hoping this week it's going to be a little better. Um, so without further ado, challenge is started. Alright, let's take a gander around. This feels like, oh, we're getting... We're getting high up into the side. I gotta turn this down just a bit. It's getting hot in here. All right, here we go. Um, how was everyone's New Year's? I uh, hope everyone had some fun in some way. My New Year's really did not turn out to be much of one. I kind of just stayed at home. As I mentioned last week, I believe, in one of the videos, I talked about a terrible, one of the worst... Funny stories to listen to, but the worst New Year's I probably ever had had in my life. And, you know, that was years ago. And I'm kind of like, ah, I don't think I need to go back out. That's a lot of money. Is this guy taking a photo of us? I guess you are. Why do you need to crouch? Or are you taking a photo of, of the yard? I don't know. Hit home. We're, we're in a little campground somewhere in Scandinavia. So we're going to head into town, see if we can't see where we are but i hope your new year's went fine uh hopefully it was safe you know all that fun stuff you always hear people say in the radio and yeah you know a bunch of people say it and you're kind of probably tired of hearing it but you know it's something worth taking into mind when you're doing stuff like that especially when you could possibly get into a huge car accident and uh ruin a bunch of people's lives not to be too dour, but you know, if I think back to that guy in the hood of my car, again, if you don't haven't heard the story, these are some fancy lights. Go back, and I think it was one of the ones from last week. I can't remember exactly which one. Just listen to the guy, the story about the guy who was on the hood of my car as I drove down the road. Could have fallen off, and I could have ran him over, and I could still be in jail right now for it. It's, it that'd be bad news. And a lot of, how did I jump over here? A lot of people say the best way to learn is by doing. I think you can uh, safely not... Ooh, maybe there's a URL here. Pula Golf. Can I get a better angle on this? So I don't know how... Ugh, zoom out, I'm getting this all... Alright, we're not going to find anything on here. Getting all disoriented. But certain things you don't need to learn by doing, like, uh, can I, nope, 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 can I get over here? Like, you don't need to experience a car crash to know, hey, maybe I don't want to be one, be a drunk driver, maybe the 616, huh? Is there any way of getting over into that side road there? That's, let's zoom, fly in a little bit here, the 616, let's zoom in. Yeah. There, there's there's some merit involved with hearing somebody, a, a bunch of people say the same thing over and over again. Like, God, you hear a thousand people say, don't drink and drive, don't drink and drive. Maybe, and you're like, God, I'm so tired of hearing this. Maybe I'll do it once to see what it's like, or it's not that big of a deal. You know, there's a reason why so many people do say these things, and you don't always have to sit there and listen to them all, but just, just think of the, the total amount of people who will actually say things. Like, they're saying it for a reason. I don't know why I'm sitting here feeling like I need to convince people of this stuff, and I don't know, 20 seconds, I'm not gonna find this friggin' road. I'm just gonna resign myself to somewhere in Finland here. Can I see a flag of any kind in 14 seconds? The problem is, I'm really worried that I'm going to see Tiovaka. Um, we're going to put ourselves over near Pori, actually, and make the guess. Uh, actually, I would have been better if I stayed where I was, but four stars. We'll play next round. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't want to click like that. Oh, Bolasen. Are we still in uh, Scandinavia, I guess, here? Um, and this, I, I don't know what way to judge this because it's got the little umlauts and whatever the halo is. I don't know what they call that. I mean, if anybody can actually help me out with figuring out what the hell that that symbol is. I mean, I could Google it. I can't right now. I'm under a time limit. But maybe we'll split the difference between these two countries and just say it's in Svedka. I mean, is that how they say it there? 
I mean, I just know that from the vodka bottles. OV Ken. Ken's eggs? Maybe. Yo, one of you people got a flag anywhere? You guys make ceramics? Is that what this is? Margarita ceramics? That's a cute little house there you sell your stuff from. It's a nice sunny day out here at 321. I do believe those are... I saw a bunch of those. I had to zoom in a bit to see... Th okay, 363. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. We're going to go north and look for 97. Oh, this is not following any... Any uh, conventional method that I can think of. 84. I don't have to zoom out too far. Okay, 70 is down here. 26, 70. Do I zoom in more? Like, I don't know if these things are like highways where... I'm going to get this wrong. Odd number ones go around cities, or and then even ones go through cities. It's, it's either or, one of those two. I just can't think of which one it is. Man, I'm getting... 86. I got two minutes. See if I'm gonna make this a little bigger so I can actually see a bit more of this. I it, this is a new new tactics I'm bringing to GeoGuessr after I don't know how many episodes it's been so far. Let's go to Norway and see if they've got blue numbers on their roads anywhere. I don't see them. Okay, I've got a minute left. Can I zoom in. Okay, they got green. What about Denmark? Oh, you're... Okay, that's a different color. Let's move the camera a bit so I can actually see that digit. Ooh, we got triple digits here. Nothing in this section. All lower digits. Okay, hundreds here. What about the uh, Falkland? That's not the Falkland. What the hell? Gotland. That's right. Gotland. Land of goats. Actually, that's a story I heard from... Going on a tour in Macedonia, where I guess uh, the folk story or whatever of the origins of that country is, I guess some king there got rescued by a goat, and then he decided to name his kingdom after the goats or something having to do with like paying homage to the goat that saved him. Noble as that might be, it's kind of still a goat. Well, the only one I found is a 300. I'm going to put us here just because it's the closest number I can find to it. Maybe it's farther up north, but 40 seconds. Uh, I'm going to bring it back down to normal size and just take a little ride down this really beautiful scenic oh, dragon boat. Uh, Sotka. I'm not going to try. Storb Subboygid. Sheboygan? I don't know. Again. The well actually this is a different color red, but it's it's pretty uh omnipresent all over here. Granted that one guy who has that color patent in there is making a killing. How well I do Tolerable, I guess. I mean, how far did I have to zoom in to see that? Oh Christ. There was no way I was gonna get that, I guess. I'll do three stars again. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be as lucky this time. This road looks pretty disheveled. I'm going to probably say this van is going to have some Cyrillic on it. It has no writing on it, so uh forget what I said. Two straight Scandinavias. I feel like we're still in Europe, although this could very well be Mediterranean. Farther south, or this also could be. Um, Russia, as we pass a DeLorean here. But let's move up a bit farther and see if this definitely looks like a, uh, uh, Trebant, a Trebi, whatever they're called. Nice stickers. Does that help your car go faster? Oh, Sparco. Nice. Man, he's got a nice little, uh, intake. On his hood there, kid meets business. When I was in high school, it was right around, I'm going to really horribly date myself here, but it has to be kind of obvious. Oh, here we go. Cyrillic confirmation. Yep. So I'm going to put us near the Black Sea just because. 
and see if I can't suss anything out as I see. I also remember mentioning on the la one of the ones from last week about signage in Russia and how it all kind of follows the same structure. Very, you know, concrete, gray, something gold in it, and very vertical, and then like a straight line out type of sign. It kind of follows the same structure. But anyway, going back to date myself, when, uh, oop, we've got a memorial of some sort here. When I was in high school, it was back right when, uh, the first Fast and the Furious came out. And I was in a, my group of friends I was with. Um, no way I'm going to make that out. My group of friends, we uh, were totally into that whole mod scene before it actually became huge. So we were the first hipster mods, I guess you could call it. And one of the things that you would do to your car, at least then, I don't think it's such a big deal now, is along with that type of culture is also putting huge subwoofers in your car. But me being super... Uh, cheap ghetto whatever you want to call it not having a lot of money you had to improvise so we did and the method my friend and i came down to with the pair of speakers we had was we couldn't get a a, a legitimate box to put the subwoofers in so what we did was we took a tupperware container cut two holes out of the lid of it and then installed the uh speakers right there and then just put like a piece of insulation between the two uh speakers i guess for some sort of distortion or something, I guess. I don't know exactly. Now, I feel like this may actually be Ukraine just because it's got the Ukrainian colors on it. So I'm going to actually nudge us over. And uh, this is a... Police, maybe? I don't know. But I thought it was like, hey, I'm being pretty, pretty clever and smart here. So I... um. What actually made me stop doing that was uh, it just took one guy saying something. And it's not like, oh, peer pressure type stuff. It was more of a, a, a kind of a rational thought, I guess. So here's a sign finally with 15 seconds left. Oh, this isn't not going to, well, it's not going to help me. I still think this is Ukraine. I'm sticking here. I'm going to stay with it. I was taking, uh, I was driving my dad to go hunting with him and his friends. I'm going to make guess here. And yeah. I felt like it was Ukraine. I just stabbed at it because it was in the south. It was sunny. These are really arbitrary um, guidelines I had for myself to know that we were in the area. I'm just going to stick with it. And I had these things in my car for a while and thinking it was hot shit just because, hey, I could listen to corn, a limp biscuit thumping real loud in the back of my K car. It was a Reliant K car. Okay, I think I've actually seen these type of bridges before and I knew... That this is South America, I believe, at this point. I'm going to put us kind of like right there. And as we were driving to go hunting this morning, I, the, in the story, the parked my car as far as I could get in because the road got pretty rough. We had to walk the rest of the way. And one of the guys that we go hunting with, a friend of my dad's, um, looked in the back seat of my car and he saw the speakers He's like Jesus can you hear that all the way in the front and he's like and I really thought of it that way it's kind of yeah you got a you got a good point there and that's when I kind of just stopped with the speakers in my car that didn't mean I still did really stupid shit with my car like uh late what the hell is that just barely the hood of our car I think we're driving a Volvo Although, I, no, this is a Ford just because of the headlights, and that looks like a Ford logo. We're driving an F-150, I think. Uh, but after that, I ended up getting a Mazda truck. And I traded my gas-powered remote control car to my friend for a uh, muffler. One of those loud ones that go... When you, you heard those. They're super obnoxious. Some Tecate... God, now is this Mexico? I hope it's not Mexico. I still, I'm, I think I'm going to stick with. No, this is totally a uh, Mexican flag. God damn it. Is this another one of these gut feelings where I'm going to kick myself for uh, changing my mind here? I hope not. I really do. I'm going to stick with Mexico and it's probably going to turn out to be Argentina, isn't it? 
San Vicente Ferrer. Oh, I don't know now if it's if it because I saw that truck. Is this really Mexico? Let's see this other Mac truck here. Anyway, to continue that story, we we yeah, this is this is this is uh, Mexico. Again, not having all the money in the world, we had to improvise in order to install this thing on my truck. So what we ended up doing, Mission San Vicente Ferrer. Uh, I'm going to say we're a little farther north here, maybe around there. Again, just a hunch. So what we did was we took a uh, nice monster energy. Your Cherokee's having some troubles, isn't it? Oh, he also has the decals for the bullet holes in his car. That's That's cute. As I sit here and talk about how um, redneck we fixed our car here. To install the muffler in our car, I had to get a new exhaust pipe because the muffler was too big. Man, this is the summer season because there's really no water here. So we bent a pipe, but we, again, had no tools for it. So what do we do? We jumped on either end of the pipe to bend it to actually fit underneath my truck. And that took all of one day to do. Once we finished that, we uh, went and had to try to install the muffler at the end of it. And again, the pipe was too big, uh, too small to fit like perfectly into the back of the exhaust. So what did we do to uh, fix it? We dumped probably about a half a roll of duct tape on the end of my muff, uh, on the end of the exhaust pipe, so it would fit inside the muffler. Brilliant idea. I mean, all I cared about was it stuck there, made the noise. Oh, we're on this side of Baja, California. Oh, all right, whatever. I'll give myself three stars for that. Whoa, this is... Oh, is this just a... What the hell is this place? That was weird as fuck. I feel like this is the type of... Uh, volcanic formation that was in the steps of the giants which i believe was in ireland i'm going to click up on ireland just for now because this type of volcanic formation was pretty popular in i believe it was ireland it could be scotland i could be confused but anyway to finish off that story just real quick yeah this is definitely ireland we uh this is an old timey. This is quite the jump you had. Well, we're next to some docks here. But it, it worked because all I had to do was make the noise. But after about a, probably a day or two of driving it, the heat in the exhaust was so hot, it ended up melting the tape on the end of the muffler. And it just barely held on because the tip of the muffler and the end of the exhaust bolts were kind of like tipping down at a... I'm hitting my pop screen on my mic. We're just held down in an angle that I was just hanging there just just by uh, gravity alone. Nothing else was holding it in place. If I went over some sort of strong bounce, it just would have uh, fallen right off. But you didn't think about it at the time because all that mattered was you drive through the uh, stupid... The, the stupid... Um, parking garage, those giant multi-level ones that were concrete because it reverbed and echoed so well every time you drove by and went Bleh. that's all that mattered when you're a kid kids are dumb don't think of me just dismissing you if you happen to be young enough because everyone probably thinks, nah, you're just some older dumb adult who doesn't get it and maybe true, also in order to become an adult, you had to be a kid at some point. And yes, again, just like we mentioned before, you hear enough people say, well, I was a kid once. And it's the same applies here, too. Man, now was this Scotland? No, I don't think so. There has to be a big enough center of enough population to actually have a harbor of some sort. God, now I'm thinking that this was actually Scotland. I don't think it was, though. Gut feelings, again. You gotta stick with them when you first hear them. Steps of the Giants, I believe, is Ireland. I'm gonna put us on the Dublin side, just like right over here. 
But just to sum that up again, I'm going to family Breck because, yeah, it's Breck. It's the, These are Gaelic more than they are Scottish. Don't tell me why I feel like one more than the other one. But whatever. Just to finish up in the next 45 seconds here of saying kids are dumb, don't get to every, everybody 10 years older than you are right now. You're always going to look back at yourself and say, I was an idiot then. Like, you thought about that when you were 5, when you were 15. You think of it when you were 25, looking back when you are 15, and then 25, 35, and so on. You always think you're going to have it figured out at the age you're at now until 5 to 10 years in the future when you're like, what kind of an arrogant asshole was I then to think I knew what I was talking about? It's just what everyone always seems to go through. Now, is this a house right next to this? It can't be. This has to be like a church's visitor center. Three seconds. No. Oh. It was actually uh, German. All right. I don't know if, how much I agree with that. Just, again, this was a... Oh, you know what? Why didn't I think of that? Because I did mention last week... The tiny areas that you really can't move around much. There's only two countries they usually are, and that's Germany and India. But I didn't think of that this time. I got thrown off by that little bit of volcanic, whatever you want to call it. But apparently we were... We were here, apparently. I mean, there was this little nubbin of land here. i will do one star. Man... We nailed it really well to start off with, but this got thrown off, and then this guess here. You're so close to 20,000 again. I deliberately did went out of my way not to mention it at all this time, and eh, at least we had a better showing this week than we did last week. This is just Monday, though. We still have two more to go, and uh, on that note, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Again, if you liked any of these videos, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff it does help mean a lot to all of us here at hobby fist i hope you had a good day watching this or have a good rest of your day and i hope you come back to join us again on wednesday as we do some more geo guessing we'll see you then